Good morning, everybody. Miranda Ferreira, Century 21 Miller Elite, coming to you on September 29th. Yes, we are enjoying Ian making his presence known. Um, so that's why I am a day late in getting the weekly recap stats to you. Now, this week we're looking at September 22nd through the 29th uh, because I did these this morning. So please remember last week I did the monthly recap and you can always go look on social media for all those that are still posted. My best wishes for all those influenced by Ian this week. Our prayers and our thoughts and our hearts are with y'all. So with that, the past seven days, we had 30 new listings that were still active, 29 that went under contract and 31 sold listings or closed listings. As of this morning, our total number of active listings was 442. This was a slight decrease from two weeks ago, but still is continuing in an upward path over the past six, seven, eight weeks. The sold price, median sold price was down a little bit to $405,000. Still, a, the kind of trend is kind of a plateau here within a few hundred thousand um, dollars. This week, the median list price to sold price was $415,000 and the sold price was $405,000. So looking at average, I mean, you're looking at 98 to 99% of asking price, which is a little bit more of a normal trend that you see. Under contract and sold price per square foot have seemed to have plateaued again as well. They were as high as 235 and 321 a few weeks ago, but now they are around the 207 for so for under contract and 210 for sold. The gap is is getting a little bit more narrow. So with that, again, we saw anywhere from 33 to 55 days on market before going under contract. And as of this morning, Wells Fargo is showing around a 6.375 for a 30-year fixed. So again, did note that the 10-year treasury, which there is some correlation between the 10-year treasury and um, mortgage rate. That did have a decrease yesterday, which or day before yesterday, which is really good. So I've been monitoring that, but as of right now, we are still seeing uh, most, if not all conventional loans at or above 6%. So with that, I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, follow me on social media, Miranda G. Ferreira, C21, and have a great weekend, a great weekend. Take care, everybody.